Tonight, Nora O'Donnell, live from an aircraft carrier in the Western Pacific where U.S.-China tensions could be tested. We'll get a first-hand look at the military buildup in the region, plus how weapons aid to Ukraine could impact the U.S. arsenal on the CBS Evening News. Tonight, a special edition of the CBS Evening News. We're here on one of the largest warships in the world, a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier that has just returned from the South China Sea. And just today, CBS News learning the Pentagon plans to increase the number of troops in Taiwan as the independent island hopes to hold off Chinese aggression. Tonight, aboard the USS Nimitz with 5,000 of America's finest. The concern tonight about the possibility of a new Cold War, this time with China. The U.S. warning China may send weapons to Russia for the war in Ukraine as the world marks one year of Putin's invasion. We estimate that they will try to do something on this February. With tens of billions of taxpayer dollars going to Ukraine, CBS's David Martin reports on its impact on America's readiness. For a couple of key items, the stockpile is getting low. Richard Alexander Murdoch wishes to take the stand. I didn't shoot my wife or my son anytime, ever. Severe winter weather stretching from coast to coast. The cold air comes charging in on Friday, setting the stage for a huge winter storm in the West. This is a special edition of the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting tonight from the USS Nimitz. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Tonight we're broadcasting live aboard the USS Nimitz. And while we can't give you our exact location, we can tell you we are here in the Western Pacific Ocean. We landed here just moments ago after boarding a C-2 Greyhound in Guam and landing on the deck of this massive aircraft carrier that stretches nearly 1,100 feet long. That's more than three football fields. And about this exact location on the ship, it's called Vultures Row. It is a viewing platform high above the flight deck where the crew and others can observe the flight operations below. Today, the world is marking one year in the war in Ukraine, when Russia unleashed the largest ground invasion in Europe since World War II. We've got reports tonight from Ukraine with CBS's Charlie Daggett and from the Pentagon with CBS's David Martin, who takes an in-depth look at the billions of dollars in military aid for Ukraine. All this as the U.S. prepares for a potential conflict with China. Tonight, the U.S. is confirming that they're going to be sending additional troops to Taiwan. That is big news. It is historic because the troops will deploy to the crucial island to help build out a training program amid increasing tensions with China. Scott McFarlane, thank you. A TV reporter covering a homicide in Florida is fatally shot. The shocking details next. We're back now aboard the USS Nimitz in the Western Pacific. Tonight, investigators outside Orlando, Florida, are trying to unravel another senseless shooting rampage that left three people dead, including a nine-year-old girl and a TV reporter. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas is there. Nora. Manny Bohorkas, thank you. Federal investigators released their preliminary report into that toxic train derailment in Ohio. That's next. The other big story today, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the site of that toxic behind and starting over. And that is tonight's CBS Evening News from the USS Nimitz in the Western Pacific Ocean. I'm Nora O'Donnell. Good night. Here's what